Well, now we're going to be doing calculations for a torque converter. Okay. Well, according to the response that I was getting on the last video, I'd throw this video out faster. I was going to do the torque converter calculations like next week. But a lot of you guys have been asking me about how to figure in and factor in the torque converter. In the other video, I told you that uh, when it comes to do, uh, factoring and using the calculations on a torque converter, there's more math behind it, and there is. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to stick with the original idea of a 15-inch tire. There are two primary sizes of a torque converter driven, which is uh, you've got the driver unit here that goes on to the engine. This is a Comet series. And you, then you've got the driven, which is this thing right here. These come in two sizes. This one that you see here is a 7 inch, and they also come in a 6 inch. What we're going to do here in this situation is we're going to calculate a 6 inch. Now, uh, if you look down below this video, you'll see links that go off to uh, Go Kart Supply, and they have a list of the ratios that a 6 inch torque driven unit puts out and the calculations of a 7 inch driven unit. Uh, according to what's on the site, you've got the 6 inch and the 6 inch will, has a ratio of, for low, you have a 2.68 ratio. 2.68. For the high, you have a 0.90. What that means, that point nine zero means is that <coughs> if everything is set up correctly and everything ha is at the right distances from each other, you have the right belt, you have everything correctly placed for a six inch driving drive driven, then you will have a ten percent overdrive, which means that the rotation of your driver or actually the rotation of the driven will be slightly more than what the engine is putting out. So you're going to have about 10% overdrive. That's, as, that's if everything is set up correctly and absolutely perfect. In the last video, I explained how you do your gear ratio, or your, your sprocket ratio. You've got your engine, like I explained, had a 10 tooth that went off to your secondary, which was the 14 tooth, then that jack shaft goes off to another 10, and then down to a 54. In this situation, this right here from the engine will no longer be the 1.4 because this is replaced with a torque converter. Once you have the torque converter on there, this 1.4 is not a 1.4 anymore, it is the 2.68. 2.68. This over here was the 5.4. So you multiply those together, and that comes up to. Oh no. Now I gotta grip my calculator. Okay. Uh, so we got uh, 2.68 times 5.4, that equals 14.47. At low, we're at 14.472, round that up to 4.8, no, we'll keep it at 4.7. 14.47. That's the gear ratio as it is sitting there. Now, time to do the math. Take the tire diameter, 15 inches, 
Multiply that by pi, 3.14 equals 47.1. Now we take 47.1, divide that by 12, which is inches, 3.93, 3 3.925, round it up to 3.93, almost 4 feet there. Now we take our engine RPMs, 3600 RPMs divided by our gear ratio at low, which is the 14.47. That's going to equal 248.79. So we're going to round that up to make that 8. Okay, now we take the, the circumference of the tire which is the 3.93 and we times that by the wheel rotation. So we're going to take that number 24 248.8 times 3.93 that equals 9 977.78. So we'll round that up to 7.8. So we're going to take the 248 times 3.93 equals 977.78. Nine seven seven point eight. We're going to take that nine seven seven. That is the feet that I travel per minute, and we're going to multiply that by sixty. So we've got uh, nine seven seven point eight times sixty will equal five eight six six. Five fifty-eight thousand six hundred and sixty-eight. So what we'll do is we'll take that five eight six six eight and divide that, divide that by how many? What? Divided by five thousand two hundred eighty because there's five thousand two hundred eighty feet in a mile. Divided by five thousand two hundred eighty. Mm -hmm. Equal. What? 11.11 11. 11 miles per hour so that's the miles per hour that you would be able to go with a ratio like that but because we're dealing with a low this is our low end now we have to figure in the math for the high end okay so we're going to get rid of everything that we're not going to be using we know that 15 inches of tire times pi equals 47.1 around the whole circumference of the tire. So we take that and we divide that by 12, which is 12 inches, and we know that that's going to be almost 4 feet travel. The tire is going to roll at least about 4 feet. You take 3600 RPMs of the engine, and then you factor in the high end, which is 0.90. I'll write it up here. We're going to take Remember, we've got the sprocket on the axle is going to be 5.4 with a 10-tooth sprocket on the jack shaft. So, we know that that's a 5.4 times 0.9. That comes out to be 4.86. That's our ratio right there at high end. That means that when you've got that thing fully open, when you've got when the torque converter is fully engaged, this is your ratio that you're going to have total as long as you have a 10 and a 54 tooth. Now the sprocket ratio is going to change. These numbers are all going to change based upon what sprocket ratio you use. So our high end is going to be a 
4.86. So, time for the calculations here. 15 inch tires times pi will equal that. The 47.1, which is our, our circumference of the tire. You take the 47.1, divide that by inches, and comes out to be 3.93. You now take the RPMs, divided by the ratio, which is our 4.86. And that comes out to be 740.7. So we'll just make it 741. 741. Okay? That is the rotation of your tires per minute. Which means the tire rotates 741 times a minute. Now we're going to take the tire circumference in feet, which is 3.93. We take the 741, 2,912, yeah, 2, 2,912, which is our feet per minute, means that this will travel 200 or 2,912 feet per minute. Now we take that times 60 gives us, oh man, where's my decimal point? Geez, there isn't one. Alright, well, that's uh, one, seven, four, seven, two, zero. Okay, now we're going to take this number right here. Remember now, at low end, we would be able to go 11 miles an hour. Our high end, you should erase that so you guys don't get confused. So we now take 174720 divided by 5280, and that will give us dun, 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 33 miles per hour. So, that's the calculation that you have to do when it comes to doing a jack, when it comes to using a torque converter. You have to do both calculations for the high and low end. Now remember that we were sticking with only a six, six inch driver unit, not the seven inch. Seven inch, these numbers will be smaller, but your cart will have more power. <laughs> so the maximum speed of this of your go-kart, if you had 15 inch tires, a 6 inch draw, a 6 inch driven, yeah, spiders, your low speed would be 2.68, your high, or not your low speed, your low ratio between the driver and the driven will be 2.68, your high will be a .9, which means that the belt actually expands slightly, will ride slightly higher than the diameter of your driver. You're looking at a low end of 14.47, which is pretty dang good for a go-kart. You know, it's you know, you can go lower than that, you know, and you rip your tires, you know. Depending upon, you know, with 15-inch tires, um, let's see. Allie's go-kart, uh, the one in the most recent videos, her jack shaft ratio is at 10.8 with 15 inch tires and you see what that thing does in the videos you know they can sit here and do cookies all day long now if I were to swap that out and turn that in and, and take out the clutch and the sprockets off of the jack shaft and replace that with a torque converter with a six inch driver the Chinese model one that I've got then I would know this entire ratio right here is what her go-kart would be able to do okay she would have a 14.47, which means that the moment she gives a gas, boom, she'd be ripping it up. Because as it is now, it's only at a 10.8. If I were to change it, it'd be a 14.47, which means it's a lot more rotation, but there's going to be a lot of power behind those wheels. 
and then once she gets up to maximum speed, the torque converter changes and shifts, you know, it alternates and everything, it's ratio. I know that I'd be able to go 33 miles an hour on Allie's go-kart. That's, that's why I didn't put a torque converter on that thing. This is why. A clutch and specific sprockets gives you a set speed and, and nothing over that. So that's why when it comes to my kids, they will always get just a clutch, not a torque converter. This is what you got right here. Uh, good, some decent speed, decent power. You know. Now you could change this stuff. You could actually really change this by simply doing one simple sprocket. You go from your engine to the driver or driven driver to the driven and then from your jack shaft over to instead of a 10 tooth you could get rid of the 10 tooth and put on the 14 tooth instead of putting the 10 tooth on the end to drive your sprocket down on your axle you could just replace it with the 14 tooth and that would raise this well both of them would be raised you wouldn't have this 14.47 would probably drop to I don't know, maybe like a like a 12 or a 12 or 11. And this here would 33 miles an hour. I'd probably take you up to about 35, 36 miles an hour with a 14 tooth. So, yeah. So that's how you calculate both your low and your high end on a torque converter. So, there we go. So hopefully you guys uh, find this video helpful. I know I kind of ran through it really fast, but if you watch the other video, I get more in depth on this stuff. So, whatever. But all right, you guys take it easy. Rate, subscribe, and I'd also like to welcome all my new subscribers, all you guys coming in. Thanks. <laughs> Let me know that I'm at least, at least doing something right here. All right, you guys take it easy. Uh, some people like speed, some people like power. We're all brothers of the throttle. Huh?